Katie, hello. Lovely to meet hello. you. Hello. Lovely to meet you. I want to say that I enjoyed this film, but I'm afraid to say that it left me, my nerves shattered. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I understand. <laughs> I couldn't sleep. I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I guess in a way, it did its job, right? <laughs> it did its job. It did its job. I know that's what a scary movie is supposed to do. And it's very hauntingly beautiful too, I think. Very visually kind of haunting and creepy, but beautiful. Well, that's what I was going to say. Like when you're watching it, I could kind of feel like my vitamin D levels depleting as it was going on. <laughs> it's not the most glamorous of sets, was it? No, it's a very like misty mountains. The eerie um, kind of haunting fogs that would come and settle in into those mountains. And, you know, they stick around for so much of the year in that part of in that part of the country. And that was very much a character of the film. And obviously I know it's acting, I know it's all pretend, I know it's a film, but there must have been a part of you that when you're filming this, you must have felt scared in, or, in order to kind of try and feel what the character's feeling. Yeah, I mean, listen, I, I'm scared all the time anyway. My, my friends joke that I'm afraid to answer the phone. Like back in the old days when we had, remember that thing that was called caller ID or something when you could see who yeah. was calling you? And I would answer the phone and, I'd say hello, and my girlfriend would go, why do you sound scared? You know it's me calling. <laughs> I'm like, maybe I'm just afraid of people, actually. In horror movies, just the nature of them are scary because you're shooting in darkness a lot, and it's always very creepy and dark, and there's like a lot of like heavy breathing and not knowing where you are and entering things you, where places you know you should not be. Um, and that scares you when you're doing it, you know? No one's around, you're having to walk through weird, strange corridors, your feet, like your footsteps echoing, you could only hear the sound of your breath. All of that stuff is scary anyway. But also your character in this is incredibly brave. I was like screaming at the screen like, no, <laughs> no, go, you're alone. <laughs> it wouldn't be a scary movie if she had help. You know, they're always like, they're always entering. That's true, that's true. That's very true. But she, she sort of kind of, without giving anything away, she is kind of like the hero in this. From what you told me earlier about being scared to answer the phone, I think I know the answer to this. But how do you think you would fare in real life? I would like to think I'd be brave because I'm Scottish, but I know, I know for a fact I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be. <laughs> you know what? It's a, I am a scaredy cat, but when you're protecting someone else, it's amazing what you can do, especially little kids. You know, I'm a mom, I have three kids, and it's amazing what kicks in when someone offers danger, you're like, uh-uh, back off. You know, you will. It's amazing what reserves you have. Yeah, absolutely. And are you, again, I think I know the answer to this, but are you a fan of the horror genre then at all? I get scared really easy, but I will say I grew up with a mom who loved, like she loves Halloween more than she loves Christmas. So uh, we loved Halloween. My kids love Halloween. They love the spookiness, but I grew up with my older brother and my mom watching all of, you know, the scary movies, probably when I was far too young, my little sister too. <laughs> um, so I, my mom has this real um, vivid, like love and imagination of everything kind of spooky and, and really good horror movies. So I, uh, although I don't choose to see too many of them these days because I get nightmares, Oh, so many of my family love, I have a huge appreciation for them. And are you, are you a jumper? Definitely, definitely. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, Katie, it's been a pleasure to chat to you. Oh, I want to say thank nice you for the film, but I guess I'm going to say thank you for the nightmares. Yeah, <laughs> you're welcome.